Hello everyone. Welcome to Salesforce Helping Hand channel. So it's long time guys. I was busy in uh, one project, which is, uh, you can say, a very complex one. So we are almost completed that project. So again, uh, welcome to everyone for this Salesforce interview question and answer series. So guys, uh, recently one of my candidate appear in uh, one of the interview in PwC. So he asked one of the questions, I mean, interviewer asked one of the questions, so which I'm going to share with you. So let me share my screen for that. Okay, so hope you can see my screen, right? So guys, basically <clears throat> the question was asked by uh, interviewer is related to the uh, batch class, okay? So they ask uh, to candidate, can you, I mean, the code they have given. So they ask like, this is the code, right? So basically, what is the error in this particular code? I mean, which is a very basic error. So I'm also giving you the chance to identify what is the error here, right? So try to uh, understand like what error uh, you can find in this code. If not, I'll let you know. Just pause for few seconds guys then i'll explain you what is the error here first of all i'll show you what are the error and how we can fix it okay so let's wait for some comments from you and like you are able to answer or not this question okay let's wait okay so now let me uh, show you what exactly error we can get while we execute this batch class okay so let me click on execute highlight it if you see yes so my batch class is getting executed successfully but in batch apex i'm getting one error which is called argument one cannot be null okay so this is the error i'm getting here why and line number if you see this line number 13 Okay, and one, we are getting this as error. Actually data we are able to retrieve through the constructor, which we have written here, right? So we are getting one data here. So now let's understand why we are getting this error. So guys, if you see this, we have this variable string query and we also have this variable string query, right? So scope of this variable is global, right? And while our start method will use this, so because we are querying inside, then it will be find this particular variable, which is null. As of now, it does not have any value. So system will give argument cannot be null because we are passing this query as an argument, you know, to process the uh, this particular line number 16, if you can see. So we are passing it here, right? So argument cannot be null. It should have uh, any record, okay? So now what we have to do is, if we can just remove this string, okay? Let me control and save my code again. Okay, so now again, let's execute this. And so are we still getting this error? See, now our batch class is getting processed successfully. Okay, so we are not getting any more such error. So, uh, I mean, these basic questions interviewer can ask you, they can ask you to write a code, they can given you some code, right? So on the basis of that, you have to answer. So be careful, uh, they can ask you very basic question in the code, it's not like they will going to, because interview is most hardly one hour, right? And they don't have much time, so they will ask a couple of questions from the coding sign, which are very basic, okay? So stay tuned to the Salesforce Helping Hand channel. If you want to uh, prepare for mock interview or interview, uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And if you want to also experience a mock interview, just comment on this video. I'll uh, share the time slot for you. Okay, thank you so much. Stay tuned to the Salesforce Helping Hand channel.